Hello, boys. Welcome in my surveying class. Uh, I am Dr. Pradeep Kumar Shivastwa. Welcoming to all of you. Uh, today's topic is the use and adjustment of surveyors and prismatic compass. Use and adjustment of surveyor. Which instrument you are going to measure, take the measurement in the field, how you will manage, and uh, we will discuss today about the prismatic compass. Dear boy, prismatic compass is a very, very important thing for the measurement of angle, measurement of direction. And first, the, we will discuss the chronic compass survey. So, compass surveying, it, it, it is also a survey. It is the branch of surveying in the field the position of an object is located using angular measurement determined by a compass and linear measurement using a chair or tape. Compass surveyor, compass surveying is used following circumstances. In the surveying area is large. Chain surveying is not adopted for surveying a rather compass. Surveying is employed. If the plot of surveying has numbers absolute and uh, undulation which prevalent chaining and if there is a time limit of surveying, compass surveying is usually adopted. My dear boy, if area is very undulated, one uh, diagram, suppose, suppose dear boy, this is the area of surveying. In the sun area, there are mountains, hillock, okay? And a line has been passed through, alignment has been passed through, how, like uh, this, 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 and this. And this type of uh, survey you have to make. One minute, my dear boy, I am changing survey line color. So, your survey will be made like this. See the carefully. Okay, this is your surveyed area. So, suppose my dear boy, a road has been constructed on this line. 
So, without any direction, you cannot do the survey. Because when you are here in this place, when you are here in this place, this place, in this place, so this place, so you cannot see this area. And if you are here, you cannot see this area. So it is the my dear boy problem. How you will manage? So if the main problem is will be angle, bearing. How you will be turn your bearing? So it you have necessity for the compass. So you have first necessity for the compass. Compass will be guide you on which direction you should be proceed. Okay. Now, compass surveying is very important for the direction. It takes the position of an object is located using angular measurement determined by a compass and linear measurement using a chain or tape. So compass surveying is used following circumstances. In the surveying area is large. Chain surveying is not adopted for the surveying or other compass surveying employed or if the plot of surveying has numbers, obstacles, and undulation, which prevent chaining, if there is a time limit for surveying, compass surveying is usually adopted. Agreed? Therefore, compass surveying is not used in the place which contains iron core, power line, which usually attract magnet. Due to their natural property and electromagnetic property, respectively. And compass surveying is done by using traversing. A traverse is formed by connecting the point is plot by means or series strictly. Therefore, suppose your area of Surveys. This is and suppose here <clears throat> back of the law is the here is the iron steel mines, iron mines, or big iron pole you have kept. Uh, for the your work. So compass will be get deflection because compass is working on the north wave like this is the arc and this is the 
this is north south both sides so this wave will be freely running if there is no zone of iron if iron is available then it will be turned out it will be give the some bad result no so the compass survey very very useful where there is not much of steel loaded in the near survey site or iron poles or iron in the field major type of magnetic compass are so prismatic compass surveyor compass level compass so prismatic compass it a port portable magnetic compass which can be either used as a hand instrument or can be fitted on the tripod it contain two prism which is used for the accurate measurement of the reading the greatest advantage of the compass is both sighting and reading can be done simultaneously without changing the position there were major part of the prismatic compass are many magnetic needle graduated ring adjustable mirror sliding arrangement of mirror and object van i van and metal box and glass cover and horse here now you are thinking why i am telling horse here yes the horse tail here we have used in the compass machine for the fixing of line of collimation correct now adjustment of prismatic compass so two type of adjustment one temporary adjustment one permanent adjustment so temporary adjustment means centering it is the process of fixing the compass exactly over the station so centering is usually done by the adjusting the tripod legs also a plumb bob is used to check the accurate centering of instrument over the station now leveling the instrument has to be level if it is used as in hand or mounted over a tripod and it is used as in hand the graduated disc should showing freely and appears to be completely level in reference to the top edge of the case if the tripod is used they usually have a ball and socked arrangement for the leveling purpose focusing the prism so prism can be slide up down for focusing to make a reading clear and adjustable 
So, dear boy, uh, this is the compass, and this is the horse here. We have uh, now just discussed. This is the compass. This is his box. This is his needle. This is the eye glass, and uh, this is the structure. So now we will discuss about the compass. After that, we will discuss the compass survey. This is discuss compass and compass survey. So chain survey can be used when the area to be surveyed is comparatively small and fairly that. And the boy, it, its area is very plain, so you can do by chance. But area is hidden, area is undulated, so the problem will be come. So, but when the area is large, undulated, and crowded. With many detailed triangulation, which is the principle of chain survey, is not possible. In such an area, the method of traversing is adopted. My dear boy, so what is traversing? So we will discuss about the traversing. In traversing, the framework of the consists of a number of connected lines. The lengths are measured by a chain or tape, and the direction measured by angle. So, measuring instrument in one of the method of the angle direction measuring instrument. At the compass, hence in compass survey, direction of the survey line and determined with the compass, and the length of the line are measured with a tape or chain. The process is known as compass traversing. Thereby, uh, in your left side. This is the process. So perhaps both are traversing, but this is closed traversing, and this is open traverse. Closed traverse when we use the shadow area, undulated area, and a limited plot that will make closed traverse. And uh, when we are making a rail line, when uh, we are making a road, when we are making a uh, curvature of alignment canal, like this type of work, we use the open river. So principle. Now we will discuss the principle of compass survey. What is the principle? The principle of compass survey is traversing, which involves a series of connected lines. The magnetic bearing of the line are measured by the prismatic compass, and The distance length of the measured by chain. So such survey does not require the formulation of a network of triangle. Compass surveying is recommended when the area is large, undulating, and crowded with many details. Compass surveying is not recommended for area 
where local attraction is suspected due to presence of the magnetic substance like steel structure iron of deposit electric level conveying current and so on this is my dear what traversing the all angle total of a traverse is 360 degree 360 degree okay now type and use of compass a compass is a small instrument essentially consisting of magnetic needle a graduated circle and a line of sight the compass cannot measure angle between two lines directly but can measure angle of line with reference to magnetic direction at the instrument station point is called magnetic bearing of a line the angle between two line is the tan calculated by the getting bearing of the two lines there are two form of the compass available the prismatic compass and the surveyor compass dear boy the prismatic compass you see the prismatic compass is a magnetic compass which consists of the following part cylindrical metal box this is bearing of a 8 to 12 cm and it products compass this is the cover of compass this is this is tripod and this is that is why cover so now private so private it provided at the center of the compass and support freely suspended magnetic needle over it you can see this my dear boy this is the magnetic disk and it move freely tan it will be applicated it will be show you the correct angle so lifting pin and lifting lever a lifting pin provided just below the sight when when the sight pin is the folded at process the lifting pen is the lifting with the help of lifting lever then lift then magnetic needle out of the pivot point to the prevent channel to provide heat now the spring brake or brake pin to dump the oscillation of the needle before taking the reading and the bearing it to rest quickly the light sparing 
back attack to be inside the box it brought the contact with the catch of the ring by generally pressing invited the break pin now what is magnetic needle actually my dear boy magnetic needle is the heart of instrument without uh, magnetic needle compass is zero so this needle measure angle of the line from magnetic meridian and the needle always remain pointed toward both the south pole and the two end of the needle when the truly suspended on my support dear boy if meridian is running if this is compass and uh, this is this is iron strip and it can move the compass freely then it is the compass now graduated circle or ring so this is the this is the graduated circle this is the graduated graduated circle <clears throat> this is the aluminum graduated ring marked with the 0 to 360 degree to measure all possible bearing of line and attack with the magnetic needle the ring is graduated to half a degree now my dear boy we will discuss on uh, free of compound So what is prism? See this. This is the prism. Prism is used to read graduation on the ring and to take exact reading of compass. It is placed exactly opposite to object when the prism. Hole is protected by prism cap to protect it by prism. So cap to protect it from dust and moisture. Okay. Now what is the object bend? object bend is a dimensionally opposite the prism and i bend the object bend can be carrying a horse hair or black thin wire to side to the six eight this is the object bend and this is the horse hair okay clear now i when i when is the fine slit provided i hole in bottom to bisect the object from the silk 
and take a reading simultaneously from the eye hole. This way, when the probated, the print and can be lifted and down by the set to bisect object of the higher level. Now my dear friend, glass cover. This is glass. This is glass. It covers the instrument box from the top of such that needle and graduated ring is the seen from the top. This is a glass cover. This is very protective. No dust can go to the inside. On the jewel surface, there is three sun and glass. Sun glass is also available in the compass. So these are used when some luminous object are to be bisected. These are placed in the front of the eye slit and in the bunch of three and four and of different color to keep sharp picture of the object only. Now reflecting mirror. Reflecting mirror is used to get the image of an object located above to below the instrument level while the bisection it is the place to the object when and when the needle of a compass is suspended clearly it always point toward the boat therefore all the angle measured with the prismatic compass are with the Respect to north. So magnetic meridian. It is called, my dear boy, magnetic meridian. Just like this. This is magnetic meridian. And uh, this is magnetic meridian. This is Okay, my dear boy. This is magnetic meridian. So while the using of the compass, it is usually mounted to a light trip, which is having vertically spindly in the bell and socket arrangement with the compass is screwed. Okay. The following procedure should be adopted after the prismatic compass on the tripod for measuring the bearing of a line. So first what you will do, you will do my dear boy, centering. Centering is the operation which compass is kept exactly even the station crowd 
where the bearing it to the determine the centering is made by travel. Chopping a small piston. Centering in the operation is with the compass is kept over the station from where the bearing is to be determined. What is the centering, my dear? Actually, if you have a stand a compass, if this is your compass, so dear boy. Yes, my dear boy. This is the centering. A plumb bob. And it will be all centered. That is called centering. So centering is the operation in which compass is kept exactly over the station from where the bearing is to be determined the centering is checked by dropping the small pipin from the underside of the compass the centering is checked by dropping a small pipin from the underside the compass, if the pivot fail on the top of the peg, the centering I correct. And if not, the centering is correctly by the adjustment of leg at the tripod. Think that. This is a plug bob. This is a plumb bob and uh, This is a peg. And if this is the correct in the center, your compass is here. Your tripod is here. Your compass is here. And this is the state of centering. So if the pebble, if the pebble fails on the top of the pit, then centering is correct. If not, then the centering it's consulted by the adjustment of leg of the period. Now, my dear, why leveling? The leveling of the compass is done with the aim to freely string the graduated circular ring of the prismatic compass, the ball and socket arrangement on the type will help to achieve a proper lever of the compass and this 
can be checked by the livery pot pencil and glass cover now foxing the print is moved up to down and it slide till the graduations on the aluminium ring are seen clear sharp and perfect focus so the position of the print will be depend upon the vision of the observer why this is the prismatic compass this is the line diagram of prismatic compass this is the needle this is frequently open and bung now consider a line ab of which the magnetic bearing is to be observed so let the training so let the ranging rod be fixed at b in a line ab and compass is centered on a so turn the compass in direction of line ab when b is bisected by the vertical hair and that is when ranging rod and b came in the line with the sight of i <coughs> when and the vertical here so that is when ranging rod at b come in line with the sight of i so when and vertical here is object when the ranging the reading under the vertical here throw out person is taken and with the following the bearing of line ab the enlarged portion give actual pattern of the graduation mark on the ring so see this diagram this is the bearing this is the knot the shout Say this if not it adjust that where it hundred eighty degree and at south all bearing to call zero and this is not at the western direction and two seventy degree at the other north. so this the object when this is graduated outer box so the surveyor compass we will discuss on the surveyor compass it is similar to prismatic compass except that it has only plain i slit instead of i slit with the print and i hole the compass is having pointed magnetic needle in the place of broad from the needle as in case of prismatic compass now the surveyor compass working of surveyor compass how to first centering leveling and observing the bearing of a line the first two operation are similar that of the prismatic compass but the method of talking of observation differs from that so observing the bearing of a line in this type of the compass the reading is taken from the top of glasses and uh, the observing the bearing of the line and the type of the compass 
The reading is taken from the top of glass and under the tip of the knot and send the magnetic needle directly. No bridge is provided here. So this is the comparing statement between a surveyor compass and prismatic compass. Now, uh, some definition uh, I will tell you. The bearing of a line is the horizontal angle, which it make uh, with the reference line meridian, dependable upon the meridian, therefore type of bearing. So true bearing, what is true bearing? The true bearing of a line is the horizontal angle between meridian and the survey line. The true bearing is measured from the north and clockwise direction. And magnetic bearing, the mag magnetic bearing of the line is the horizontal angle, which is the main now grid bearing. So thereby, the grid bearing of the line is the horizontal angle, which is the uh, line mixed with the grid meridian or arbitrary bearing. The arbitrary bearing of the line is the horizontal angle, which is the line made with the arbitrary meridian. So this is the line diagram of magnetic bearing, magnetic declension, and true bearing. This is the diagram. What is the magnetic bearing? Magnetic uh, two bearing. True north magnetic knot. This is the figure. And this is the figure of relative bearing. So now, designation of bearing. The two bearing are the designated in the following two systems. First, whole circle bearing and quadrantal bearing. Whole circle bearing and the quadrantal bearing. What is whole circle bearing? There was the bearing of the measured with respect to magnetic meridian in the clockwise direction. It's called magnetic bearing and it varies value between 0 degree to 360. And the quadrant starts from north and progress. It is a clockwise direction. At the first quadrant is the 0 degree to 90 degree. And in clockwise direction, second, 90 degree to 180 degree, and third, 180 degree to 270 degree, and up to 360 degree, fourth, one. So my dear boy, uh, today you have read as shown in the subject. So I want to ask you some MCQ as you have read today. Okay, so you are ready? So today, uh, the, the best uh, today, this MCQ is based on today's topic. So which uh, the following is caused by careless handling? And uh, what is the correct answer? Correct answer is B, cross error. And there why next question, a system will be error free if the remove all systematic error. Is it correct or not? No. 
it is false. A negative declaration so that magnetic meridian to the what is the correct answer? Answer B. Western side of the two meridian. And uh, next question a series, a series of the closely expressed contour line represent A. What is correct answer? Answer A. <coughs> Step slope. Now, next question. A telescope is said to be inverted its... What is correct answer, my dear boy? Correct answer is A. A vertical circuit is to night and to propel of the telescope is down. Now an angle of 45 degree with a chain line may be set out with the answer. Answer C. French cross staff. Now a level line is the horizontal line. What is correct answer? Correct answer is the A. Vertical circle is to excite and the bubble of the telescope is down. And the next, an angle is a 45 degree. With a chain line, may be set out with answer a French cross star. And next MCQ, a level line is the horizontal line or vertical. So correct answer is B, line parallel to the mean spherical surface of a And next uh, MCQ, a get a gated cap is fitted with a <coughs> answer correct prismatic compass. It will be fitted at the prismatic compass. And next, a long uh, zero degree slope of the correction to be applied to each 30 meter chain is what is correct answer? Answer A, 30. Second, 0 is 1 plus meter. This is reference book, my dear boy. This is also reference book. And thank you for attending my survey class. You are welcome in my next class, that is tomorrow.